What's going on, people? This is Tashir Rase, and welcome to a new segment called MP Answers. This is where I'll answer your questions on machine. If you're confused about a certain feature, not sure how to get something done, or if you'd like to submit a tip or trick to show to the community, send me a direct message and I'll do my best to make it happen. Today's first question comes from Marcus in Germany. Is it possible to copy and paste sounds within machine hardware? Yes, it is. Very, very easy. Let me show you how it's done. I have a sample here. And for the purpose of this, I'm just going to chop it down to like that first bar. Let's see. Get the first kick and snare and hi-hats and truncate. Boom. So now we got this. Okay. If you want to make copies within the machine hardware without having to touch the mouse, very simple. You go to duplicate and you touch the pad that the sample is on, which copies it. And you go to the pad that you want to have it on, which pastes it. So boom. Very simple. If you want to make multiple copies, you just repeat it. Duplicate, copy, paste, duplicate, copy, paste. That's it. You can also do this to other groups. So duplicate, copy, paste. Very simple. This is actually the perfect setup for our next question, which comes from my man Jay Griller in Chicago. He asks, when you set a sample to a choke group, can you set it so it doesn't cut off any other pads? What he's speaking on is this. If you have a sample and let's see, you go to slice it. I'm going to do four slices. So if you set up your slices and you go directly to apply, what happens is it sets those slices up into keyboard mode. It sets it up in keyboard mode because technically that's still one pad. And no matter how hard you try, you can't set multiple choke groups to the same pad. So this is how you get around it. Got your sample. Bam, 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 slicing. And you always want to make sure you start out with the very first slice. But instead of going to apply, apply this time, I'm going to apply to go to apply to and make sure that single is highlighted. Once you do that, hit that pad. So to the next one, apply to bam. Next one, apply to bam. Next one, apply to bam. Now. Now you have four individual pads instead of four slices on one pad. Now that you have four pads, you can set multiple choke groups to each. Well, not to each, but <laughs> you can set a choke group to each pad. So I'm going to do a uh, kick drum to one, snare to two, and I'm also going to set the hi-hats on two as well. Do, do, do. Now watch this. Just quantize it half real quick. Now watch this. Now, if you notice, you don't hear the snare at all. Why? Because they're in the same choke group and it's cutting it off. But once you change the snare to another group, here you go. There it is. So shout out to Marcus and Jay Grilla for sending in the questions. And once again, if you have a question or you'd like to submit a tip to the community, please send me a direct message and I'll do my best to make it happen for you. Until next time. Peace.